In today's world, security is primary, especially when it comes to network security, because now, more than ever, the number of fraudsters is skyrocketing. Alas, Telegram is no exception, especially these days, when the inflow of fresh blood of hackers and cheaters, as well as the inflow of ordinary users has increased manifold. So the question is, how to fully secure your Telegram account and not worry that your data might be compromised? I'll tell you all about it in this video. Let's get started. Telegram has a wide range of security settings, but right now I want to draw your attention to some crucial settings that will make your account safer once you change them. And our first stop is passcode. You can find it in the privacy and security settings. It allows you to set an additional password of numbers and letters on your chats page. Click on enable passcode and then enter the combination. Here you can set the passcode type. A four or six digit options are available, as well as a passcode of numbers and letters. Either option will be safe as long as it's not a very common combination. After you enter the passcode, repeat the combination and you'll get a menu with settings. Here, first of all, you can change or disable the passcode, set the autolock, a little later I'll tell you why it's important. And also if your phone supports, for example, face recognition or fingerprints for unlocking, this option can also be enabled here. Once the passcode is enabled, a lock icon will appear in the chat list, and by tapping on it, you can unlock or lock the chat's page. After clicking on the lock, Telegram will ask for the same passcode. I should point out that even if someone tries to reload your app, they will have to enter a passcode anyway. Remember the auto-blocking of chats. Here I suggest you set this option as you like. Do not ignore this one. Let Telegram auto-lock your chat list. Better to enter your passcode again rather than someone will get access to your data. I also want to point out that if you forget the passcode, you will have to reinstall Telegram to regain access to your account. Moreover, the messenger warns that if this happens, all secret chats will also be lost. The desktop version of Telegram also has a passcode feature. You can find it in the settings and then privacy and security. Click on enable passcode for the application and then do the same steps as described earlier. The Android version of the passcode is set up in the same way as on iOS. Setting a passcode is useful if an attacker gets physical access to your device. Do not neglect this point and secure your device. Still, it's possible to gain access to your account without having your smartphone physically. This can be done over the internet, even if it's on the other side of the world. So next, we are talking about another important security feature. In the meantime, I want to ask you to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'm not gonna lie, these are not the best times for me as an author, so such simple actions help me and encourage me to make more content for you. Thanks for sticking with me. Moving on. The next, perhaps even bigger step to your Telegram security is a two-step verification. You can also find it in the privacy and security settings. Just click two-step verification. Here, Telegram will inform you that this type of password will be requested when authorizing from a new device and that you must enter it after you receive a confirmation code on another device or in a text message. Click on Set Password and then create a new one. Here everything is pretty clear. The more complex, the better. Once you've entered it, click on Create Password and in the next window the messenger prompts you to set a password hint. It's not obligatory, but if you have problems with memorizing things, take your time and do it. The next thing is the recovery email. It's also optional, but I recommend that you enter your email too. It comes in handy in case you do forget your cloud password and you want to regain access to your account. If you skip this one, Telegram will warn you that if you do forget your cloud password, your messenger account cannot be restored. And a little more about resetting the password. If you do forget the cloud password and did not indicate a recovery email, then when you log into your account, you can click on the forgot password password, and Telegram will offer you to reset your account and start from scratch. When you access the cloud password again, you can change or turn it off there and add an email in case you didn't do it. You can also set a cloud password on your desktop Telegram. Go to Settings, select Privacy and click on Two-Step Verification. To set up a cloud password on Android, select Two-Step Verification and follow the same steps I described earlier. You should definitely not skip this one. 
So far, we've covered some significantly important security settings. Now let's go over a few more. In the privacy section, you can find phone number. Be sure to check the box next to the word nobody in the who can see my phone number. You should not share such information. Below in the column who can find me by phone number, check the my contacts box. This way only those people who are in your contact list will be able to find you in Telegram. I do not recommend checking the all box. Scammers can find people in the messenger this way. Here, you can also find the exceptions list where you can add a person with whom you absolutely need to share your phone number. You can do it by clicking on Always Show and selecting the person from the list. But that's not all. Security is everything, so I have saved a few more tips for you. Stay tuned and learn all the ins and outs. And in the meantime, share in the comments which of the passcodes I mentioned above you've already set. Another crucial thing is your profile picture. It shows your Telegram photos to other users. Here, I suggest you check the box next to My Contacts, so that only users who are in your contact list see your photos. This would be useful in several cases. First, even if a scammer finds your profile on Telegram, they won't be able to see the pictures posted there, and therefore will not be able to verify that you are the person they were looking for. Secondly, if you are an active commenter in Telegram channels or communicate in groups, but you set the My Contacts option, other users who check out your profile won't see your photos. This feature definitely adds anonymity to your account and therefore protects it. By the way, it wouldn't hurt to make your name and nickname on Telegram more secure either. You should never write your first and last names as they are. And when you set your username, don't include, for example, a nickname from your other social networks or again your first and last names. This will make it much harder to find your data on the web. Another important point is active sessions. In the settings, go to Devices. There you will see what devices your Telegram account is open on. If you notice a suspicious and familiar device, immediately end the session by clicking on it. By the way, in addition to the device the account is opened on, all sessions can be ended by clicking on one button. I recommend checking this one from time to time. Options like last seen online, calls, forwarded messages, as well as groups and channels, you can set as you wish. However, the delete my account if away for, I suggest choosing the longest period of time. Guys, do not be lazy and check your telecom security settings, please. Remember that hackers do not sleep and the safety of your data is paramount. In a recent video, I told you what to do if Telegram gets blocked in your country. Check out this video to get ready. You'll see the video on your screen immediately. And that's all I have. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be safe.